Yo, girls and guys. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a commentary. I don't even remember the last time I did one. It must have been like a week or something. I uh, haven't been... Doing too bad lately, honestly. Feeling pretty good. <clears throat> In a lot of ways, you know. I haven't been playing Halo really the past week because I started playing this game, but... That's, funnily enough, the... Uh, I'm not associating with toxic people, what do you know, it's a whole different side of me that I didn't even know existed, you know what I mean? It's almost like a side of me that was lost somewhere along as a kid, whether it was from like the shitty days at school or the shitty days at work or growing up and how growing up made me and accepting their their this stupid world's idea of being an adult. I did that for basically age 16 to age 25-ish. 26-ish. So that was a, a long period where I gave up on things I loved because douchebags in my family and douchebags in real life and douchebag friends all gave me this improper vision on life as if I had to live it the way the machine asks us to, you know what I mean? In this weird fucking... but oddly true sort of way. Like, you don't want something so weird that you can describe like that to be true, but there's a lot of truth to it. Like, I shouldn't be so much happier of a person just getting away from some toxic people. I shouldn't be that much happier of a person just for playing a, an old game series that I played growing up as a kid. It's not even like I was a big Fire Emblem fan, you know what I mean? It shouldn't be such a life-changing, exciting, door-opening experience, but it is because only because of these people who close doors, you know what I mean? These people who close doors in my life and other people's lives. And that's something I've been going through the last I didn't know quite why this game meant so much to me, and now that's why now in a weird way it means even more to me. And I'm, you know, I thought I was over this series, but I guess I, I didn't even know why I stopped playing it, honestly. I, I think after Radiant Dawn, I was maybe just a little bit bored of them, and there wasn't really that much out back then. And then somehow the last 10 years passed. I was from 2010 to 2020, and somehow I just forgot all about the series for some reason. Like, the fact that me, a kid who grew up with every Nintendo handheld system either in mind or I owned it. Like, I either wanted it or I owned it or I knew all the games that were on it that were good or most of them. You know what I mean? Like, I was that kid who loved his Game Boy Advance. You know what I mean? So just the fact that I didn't even know how many games or what games they had for the 3DS. They actually have three Fire Emblem games for the 3DS in America, which is pretty good, actually. They only have one on the DS, which is weird, but... And I didn't even notice that growing up either, because cause Sacred Stones was kind of different, and I I liked the game, I just, it kind of felt like an end, like it felt like they weren't going to be making any more, you know, and it, you could almost tell while you were playing the game that they weren't going to make any more Game Boy Advance Fire Emblems, you know what I mean? Because they just like went all wacky and crazy with the game. I was like, oh, they're just, it didn't even felt like that as a kid. Eh? And then guess what, they didn't make any more handheld games for like another bunch of years, and then there was... I don't know why exactly I didn't get the one for the DS. Maybe I thought it looked too much like the Game Boy Advance games and I had just gotten done playing A Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn or something. Or at least Path of Radiance. I like those games, so that's what it's kinda weird to me that the after that the series is just like a blank spot for me. You think, you know. It'd be like saying I completely missed out on a Final Fantasy Tactics Advance game, you know? Maybe I didn't beat A2, but I played through the majority of the game like twice, so you know what I mean? That's still a lot of game hours. You know what I mean? And that, and that, and, and I would like never forget that, you know what I mean? So it's just weird to me that like, 
I missed all the three games on the 3DS. I missed the game on the DS. I wasn't even paying attention to the Nintendo Switch because I was so busy with uh, shitty girlfriends, shitty jobs, shitty Fortnite for a while, shitty Halo for a while, and I just... It, somewhere in all of it, I just, like, lost the piece of me that enjoyed living his life and playing fucking video games and just having fun, you know what I mean? And that's what it's kind of, like, been a big battle for me to get back into that way of living again and everything. Um... And I could tell right away that, like, the instant I started playing this game, I was like, oh, yep, that was exactly what I needed in my life. I needed to revisit all these games. There's uh, there's 100 plus hours of fresh content. Some of it's cheap, you know, like I could probably buy the newest games for the Switch for like 50 bucks or less. And that's like hours and hours of new content. Um, and then, like, even if you're desperate for games, you can play the weirder ones, like the DS Shadow Dragon and Shadows of Valentina, I think it's called. You probably even go back and play, like, <clears throat> the first one for the Game Boy Advance that came out in Japan that we didn't get in the U.S. and, like, probably patch it to, like, an English mod or some shit. I bet people did that already. I think I've seen footage of it. Because the characters were speaking in English, but I'm just sitting there like, yeah, this game wasn't even released in America, I don't think, so I don't know how the, there's footage of this, but. Yeah, but it just, like, sparked the whole thing in me, you know, got me excited for so many things again. Um, finally got my fucking PlayStation 5 back, so I can finally start playing some games on there again, and, uh. Might end up buying Final Fantasy VI, Final Fantasy 16 for that. We'll see. If I don't get it right away, I'll probably get it in a month or two. <sighs> I'm just trying to get through a lot of these backlog of games right now and just play as much as I possibly can so that I have time to focus on Final Fantasy 16 and, um, what do you call it? Oh, Hollow Knight's obviously coming out. And then the Nintendo Direct was just pretty big, like, that new Super Mario Wonder game looks like up my alley, looks pretty fun. Um, the Mario RPG remake looks like a game I would want to play on my channel. <clears throat> so that was pretty good. I mean, the, the besides that, the Nintendo Direct was kind of shit for, for hardcore gamers like me, but, you know... Can't expect too much as a hardcore gamer, you know. We get like a couple big games. You have a lot more options these days if you're a casual gamer and you're just like playing with friends and online and stuff like that. Stuff. <laughs> um, I use those words, but you could replace those with a lot of other ways to define gamers. Um, yeah, I was kind of sad that they didn't have like any info on like a new Smash Bros or anything. They didn't even give us like a teaser of a new Smash Bros. Other than that, there was like a side-scrolling Peach game too that might be like a Peach Metroidvania or some shit or like Peach, like Warrior, Wario Land where it's got like some Metroidvania elements but like with Peach or something. I don't know. Or maybe it's nothing like that but looked looked like it might be fun. Um... Um, so I'm really excited to hop into the new... Because I feel like I've... Like, a, I'm a true fan of Fire Emblem. I'm not an imposter. But I also kind of feel like I need to earn my way back into the loving graces of the Fire Emblem fandom. You know what I mean? Like... I, I need to get through all these games I've missed. And I need to take... Fire Emblem Engage and Fire Emblem uh, The Three Houses, the two for the Switch. I need to take those games, like, really seriously. Like, try my best to damn near 100% them. Um, even play some uh, 
Smash Bros and stuff to get like in the spirit, you know, play some of the Fire Emblem characters on Smash Bros Ultimate, stuff like that. Um, I haven't even used my Bubble Box controller to play Smash Bros yet, which it also does. So I gotta see if that is easy, and that's gonna take a bunch of research how to get that to work with the Switch and everything. And there's just a lot of stuff for me that I'm, I've been going like 16 hours a day for the last, for the last like four days. I either watch, th watch the dogs or I'm playing games or I'm taking a little walk, a little workout or I'm eating a snack. Like, I'm just busy like the whole time. You can already see 25 hours on the game and I just like started playing it a couple days ago. And I have like five more Fire Emblem games to play after this. Five more, five more, and I could even play more than that if I felt like it. I probably won't, but I'm at least gonna play all the newest ones, like a douchebag. <laughs> it's mostly because that little kid in me is like, "Ooh, I wonder if they did a really good job on the new one." As long as it doesn't end up like Pokemon Sword and Shield and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, you know what I mean? I know it's not made by the same people and everything, but it's from that same era of Nintendo Switch where like. Instead of getting, like, Mario 64 2, we got fucking Mario Odyssey, and people were like, Oh my god, this game's so sick, but nobody fucking plays it. Like, all the, ca the, all the casuals in the world, like, try to talk about that game like it's good or something. And it's just like, yeah, because we don't want to shit on a kid's game, you know what I mean? It's like the most kid's game Mario that was ever made. I like that Kirby in the Forgotten Land more than that. That's what, you know what I mean? Mario Odyssey, it should just be another Kirby game. <laughs> it's like a bad version of Mario Galaxy. Like, there's not even planets that you walk around in a 3D plane or anything. It's just like a bad platforming game. I don't know, maybe the last couple levels of that game are fucking amazing. But I played like 85% of the levels and, and got a lot of the, the normal stars. The green, I think you collect like green stars in that game or some weird shit. I don't even remember anymore. I'm just making that up. They don't, I don't even know if you collect stars. I don't even remember that game. I just remember walking through like this city. And the city was the level and I'm just like walking around the level collecting. I'm, there's no like platforming. There's no... It's almost like a worse version of... Like, yeah, I like the characters and the, and the powers are pretty cool. But the actual platforming and the level design is garbage. And the whole, the, the game design behind the platforming is garbage. And it's like, there's no room for, for, this feels like a, like a dumbed down version of Mario 3D Land or whatever the fuck that was for the 3DS and Mario 3D. It feels like a worse version than, like those games have, Harder platforming and and for the most part and stuff like that. I don't know. I feel like Odyssey is a, a massively overrated game. Like some people think it's like a nine out of ten or ten out of ten, and I'm just like, no, nah, bro, that's a fucking five point five out of ten Mario game. If yeah, if you're a little kid, sure. If you're buying it for, we're not talking about little. We're talking about normal gamers. If you're a little kid and they have their Nintendo Switch. And they like platforming games at all. Yeah, it's a fucking 9 out of 10, right? We're talking, but that's little kids, you know. We're talking about... But I, I'm talking about real gamers, no. We want Super Mario 64 2. We want Super Mario Sunshine 2. We want real games, you know what I mean? Now this fucking, like, kitty-ass, dumbed-down... <laughs> it's fucking stupid. <laughs> you could just describe it for years and years, and it would never make sense. And it'd be one thing if, like, we, we were getting, like, Twilight Princess 2, or we were getting fucking a Metroid game, or, like, some dark Nintendo shit, but they don't make anything like that anymore. I don't know, what the fuck? It's like, ever since the Wii, they just started chasing this, like, very family dynamic, except it just kind of ruined a lot of their games, and it's really weird. And I like Nintendo, like, I'm about to spend, you know, the next fucking thousand hours of my life dumping it into fucking Fire Emblem and others and other, other fucking shit that has to do with Nintendo, you know? I'm gonna probably be playing fucking 20 hours of Smash Bros. Ultimate. 
practicing my parries with Lucina, you know what I mean? Like, I'll probably be doing all types of weird shit in the next few months. You're telling me they can't make us a fucking normal Zelda game with eight dungeons, you know what I mean? I I like Tears of the Kingdom. I'm gonna I can't wait to have get back into that game. I'm literally just saving it right now, you know what I mean? I had a lot of fun the first eight hours or however much I played it, I don't even know. A lot more than Elden Ring's first eight hours. I know I'm gonna have a lot of fun in Elden Ring, but like that game's uh, it's one of those games where if you don't go around cheating, it can get really fucking annoying. <laughs> You don't go around cheating like everyone else does, it gets really annoying. And then you, it makes you stop playing. Because you're either getting thrashed by an enemy over and over that you think you have to get past, and you don't even actually have to fight them yet. It's like shit like that that's just kind of like... If you're an adult trying to get through the game in a, in a normal amount, in like a pretty quick amount of time, it can get frustrating, you know? It's not, not everyone's fucking 12 years old, you know what I mean? And they're about to spend their entire time through their childhood gaming a fuck ton so they could just waste it walking around a world leveling up their character and shit like you know what i mean <clears throat> it's just different it just everything hits different the, the older you get and people don't really talk about that well enough like the fact that sometimes i'm like in a mood to play something like an old Mega Man game where it's just like hard as nails hit you in the face until you learn to fuck how to play the make the inputs perfectly type of shit, you know? And sometimes I just, that's not fun to me at all, you know? Maybe if I was a kid and I was homeschooled and I was ahead of, you know, and I could be lazy for a year, I, I might be super into that right, right now, you know what I mean? Because I could just dump hours and hours into learning how to speedrun Mega Man games and, with, and it wouldn't really matter that much. But nowadays, it's... I gotta be very picky with everything. It's annoying, kind of. Sometimes. Sometimes it's good, like, I found my love for Fire Emblem again, right? And then other times it's, like, just frustrating that you have to be picky. So, these last couple chapters are kind of hogwash for me. I'm not saying they're bad, it's just... I think I've already... I don't, I'm not sure how long this game is, but I think I've played most of this game and I've had a lot of fun. I just feel like these last couple chapters are kind of dragging on now. A lot of a lot of tactical RPGs are like that, you know? Because you got this desire to start fresh, you know? You got this desire to, like, learn some new characters and enter a new story and stuff. It's not even necessarily that the game got boring or something. It's usually because you just got done playing 50 hours or 20 hours plus hours of it. And now you know you're at the end of it, you know what I mean? And there's just like a couple frustrating levels in your way. Like right now, it's like taking actual willpower for me to finish this game because I just played it so much, you know? But it would take zero willpower for me right now to just start up with the, ne the next Fire Emblem. And just start playing it, even though I didn't beat this one. You know what I mean? And I could do that and everything. It's just, I'm not going to. Because this is like one of those game series that I feel like I should uh, honor it and really enjoy each step of the way, you know? Not be like some fun-sucking whore with it where you just like only do the funnest parts and then move on and shit like that. I mean, that has its place in, in life and everything, but... Everyone's got to be a fun-sucking horror sometime. But I'm not about to do that with... You know... I'm just... I don't even... I can't explain to you why I wasn't interested... I didn't even, like, register that there was a... I think I'm going to blame it on the fact that... I just didn't like what Nintendo was doing anymore. with a, In a lot of ways. I didn't like Odyssey... I don't like the the direction Breath of the Wild went with Zelda. <clears throat> I I didn't like a lot of the thing. I didn't I didn't care for the fact that Mario Kart 8 was just a re-release -re of the Wii game of the Wii U game I had already played quite a bit of. Um, I think there was just a lot of things that made me like not even look at the Switch as like a console. You know what I mean? Like I didn't even. Like, I barely have any Nintendo Switch games. 
I haven't even played most of them. I still don't look at it like I just look at it as a liability. You know what I mean? Like I'm just looking at it. And I'm like, ah, I'm worried that I'm gonna break it. I'm worried it's gonna kill itself by overheating because it shouldn't even run games because it's a fucking tablet. It's a fucking hundred dollar tablet. You know what I mean? It's just like there's there's certain weird reasons that I I don't even play my Switch. It's not even necessarily that it's not fun, you know, and that's that's what's stupid. Like I think Smash Bros. Ultimate is a really good game, but. It being on the Switch is a big reason for me not to play it. And the fact that Nintendo doesn't really do the best job of designing their game for all of their players, like... Like, it's not that easy to get a box controller and have it working on the Switch and everything, you know what I mean? You actually have to do, like, research and understand your controllers and stuff. Like, it's weird that, to me, that Nintendo hasn't opened up that game for more inputs and stuff like that. Can't plug no fucking keyboard into your Wii and remap it to make play Smash Bros, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. It's not made for us. It's made for people who play on fucking Nintendo Pro controllers. And the worst part is, of it all, like, I think I'm a fraud because I think I think I already played this game and I just completely forgot about it. Like, I'm not even sure. That's the pro Like, I'm usually... You can ask me about almost any game in my entire life and I can name the... I can name its name, its subtitle. I can tell you how much of it I played. But for some fucking reason, I don't remember... I don't know if this game is just really similar to Radiant Dawn. So I just am like, have a blurry memory that makes me think that, or maybe I did play this game and I got it from Gamefly and I, back when it came out in like 2012. It's weird to me that I can't remember like anything about it. I guess the only thing I could think of is maybe, uh, it came out when I was in college, so. I'm gonna blame it on college sucking dick. It's not my fault. We're gonna blame it on college being a, a fucking scam and a lie. Good. All right. I really like this game though. They, they did a good job with Lucina. There's a lot of great characters. I'm not even like the biggest tactical RPG fan out there at all. It's just I really like this. I really like Fire Emblem for some reason. Yeah, I do kind of feel like a bad fan because I did rush some things in this game and like I could find myself like so like for the first half of this game I was like very attached to this game right and then for the whole second half of this game my mind has just been like okay what's next what's my next game I'm playing when am I playing Final Fantasy Tactics when are, you know what I mean my mind is like leaving the scene a little early focusing on something that's not here yet stuff like that you know what I mean? like yes i get to play all these other fire emblem games and it's gonna be fun but it's like don't lose sight of what you're doing now it's like teaching me a lesson not to get bored with when you when there's no reason to get bored and stuff like that not to desire something new when you're currently busy with something you already have stuff like that you know what i mean Sounds weird, but that's just kind of what my, I feel like I'm learning right now.
You can, I don't know what the hell that word means. I never heard that word before. No. Now then. I didn't know the history of this game was so fucking good too. That, that They really ruined some. Like when I was a kid, I would have loved to have that other Fire Emblem game on the Game Boy Advance, the first one. I forget what it's called, the Binding Blade or the, I don't remember what it's called. That might be this, the one we got, the Blazing Blade or something, I don't remember. But it was literally like a whole nother game and they didn't even port it over. It's really weird. That must have been like super risky for them to do anything. That the fact that they can't even port a whole finished game. And they didn't like go back and port it or anything and upgrade it. Sacred something one of them sold bad, I guess. Sacred stones must have sold bad. And then there's like that whole other game called like Tear Emblem Saga. It was, or some shit like that, or Tear. I don't remember what the fuck it was called. Tear Ring Saga. And it's like, it's kind of like the same shit as Street Fighter, where Street Fighter like turned into King of Fighters or whatever the fuck. Turn or it turned into the company that made King of Fighters, basically. And back in the beginning, the games are like identical. And that's like the same shit here. The guy branches away from Fire Emblem, makes his own game that looks exactly like Fire Emblem. I wonder what happened to that game. I feel like you should just come back and work for Nintendo all these years later, making fucking Tear Emblem Saga. F or Emblem Saga. Fucking make it a whole thing, you know? Like, just like a spin off of Fire Emblem, Emblem Saga, whatever. Nintendo should fucking endorse that shit. Yeah, I'm excited. I haven't even looked at us of any even like a f bit of footage for um, Fire Emblem, the new ones on the Switch. So I'm really hoping they're like full scale fucking like basically sequels to Radiant Dawn. I'm assuming that's what they're they're trying to be like a full console game. with like 3D upgraded 3D graphics and I'm assuming I think they they sell at like full price for a Nintendo Switch game too or whatever so usually games that sell for that much are like pretty pretty well funded I don't know if I ever had F Fire Emblem Fates. I also don't know if I'm going to be playing all three of those games. Something tells me it's like Pokemon and they're all the fucking same and everyone's like, they're way different though, but we'll see. I just feel like Fire Emblem is a pretty in-depth game with a lot of conversations. I highly doubt three games released at the same time are like all extremely it's like it's extremely important that you play all three of them and not just one or two of them you know what i mean i don't know maybe i'm wrong 
We'll find out, I guess. Think again. <laughs> I almost wouldn't mind, like, a sequel to Sacred Stones. I feel like that. They should just make them for the Switch, and then they could... Once in a while, make, like, a 2D pixel -y one, and once in a while, make a... That's probably what they'll do, but... Once in a while, make a full scale. Because I'm assuming if they made, um... The Three Houses, and they made Fire Emblem Engage, that... There's like a very good chance that they're already well on their way for something even better. So that's pretty promising too, so. And we would only have to wait about three three-ish years. At the rate that they seem to be going. That must mean like the Nintendo Switch community happened to like uh, the three houses, because otherwise they wouldn't have been so quick to make Engage and everything. And I don't know anything about those games. That's why I'm really excited for them. Like, I want to play some games before I get those, but I don't want to... I'm not going to play every fucking last Fire Emblem game and then play those, because I feel like... That'll kind of ruin my experience for those games, too, you know? Like, if I went ahead and played, like, all of the games before that, them, and tried to just cram those into the next few months, like... I just feel like that would completely ruin some of the fun that I'd be having if... I had played those games earlier, you know? Not that I'm saying they're the best ones, they might not- I don't even know which one's gonna end up being my favorite. That's gonna be what's kind of fun about- Like, it'll be sad when I finish them all, you know? But it's also gonna be kind of, like, exciting, because I can be like, look back and retrospect and figure out which one I actually like the most and stuff like that, you know? What- what game- would I want future Fire Emblems to be like, stuff like that. Alright, let's get this game over with so I can play the next one. <laughs> well, I'll probably stop commentating for now and just play play the game and have some fun, but... It was nice talking to y'all. I'll be back down the road a couple weeks for with another commentary. Uh, we'll just be uploading a lot of gameplay. Uh, once I inevitably get burnt out on some Fire Emblem. I'll take a break and do a lot of Street Fighter and 6 and stuff. I'm just kind of rolling with it because I'm having fun right now. I usually don't like playing the same game for too long, so my, my channel has some variety, but it is what it is. Eventually, I'll be playing Final Fantasy 16 and like every like all the other rich kiddos.
This is it. Our final battle.
片。Right? That's the end of him. Thanks to you, we carried the day. We can rest easy now. At long last. from this place. Please. Good boy. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Do 
don't you put any stock in this destiny hogwash. Right.
<laughs> what? Hmm. What? Ah, yes.
Carry only the finest. <laughs> 